Hey, how's it going? This is Chris with Wide Open Camera, and I'm here with Josh Pines from Technicolor. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new product he just brought on the market, which is the new cine-style picture profile for Canon cameras. How's it going? Uh, uh, it was great. It was, everything was going really well, and then I woke up this morning, and it's been downhill ever since. But how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. That's good. Well, I just got here, so I haven't uh, had a chance to see. I'm tethered to this booth, so I haven't had a chance to go out and see anything. But. So what can you tell me about how it's been since the Cine style has been released? Since it's been released, uh, we were expecting, um, you know, that there'd be 100 or 200 people out there that might be interested and try it out and see its merits. And we were sort of shocked in the few weeks it's been out, there's actually been over 30,000 downloads. Um, and it's been rather overwhelming. And also reading the blogs and the discussions online about people who have tried it. Some people go, oh, this is great. You know, I love it. This solves my problems. Other people going, I don't get it. You know, I look, I'm trying it, and it just looks flat. And it, well, the general idea of it is, and uh, let me give you a little bit of background. So uh, we come from the division of Technicolor that does digital intermediates, which is color correction and post-production for motion pictures. And we did this initially from film. People were shooting film, and we would scan it and color correct it and, and release it in film. Now more and more stuff is being shot digitally. But still, we like to work in a log color space, logarithmic color space. It's the best way to work. And the idea is that when you're on set, you capture as much dynamic range as possible from what's on set and carry that into post-production so that as creative decisions are made further downstream, you're not locked into something. You can sit there and say, I want that to be a stop right or a stop dark, or the, but you've captured as much as you can. Now, in order to do this, and, and this is really what the, the, the Cine style is, is it's a way uh, we got together with Canon um, after you know a few zillion uh, conferences with lawyers and NDAs and, and, and stuff, and we were able to get, get uh, inside a bit and we were able to get the camera to actually output a log signal. Uh, and the reason behind this is we're doing DIs on, on motion pictures and more and more DPs are beginning to shoot insert shots or maybe whole sequences for their movie and they're shooting it with the Canon 5D and then, you know, dropping the stuff on us and says, oh, have this intercut with the movie and have it look the same. Now, by default, the Canon now puts a Rec. 709 video signal. And it's limited, it's what you see is what you get. You don't have wiggle room, you don't have a lot. Any color correction that you do is gonna be pretty much destructive from there. And we're just saying, gee, it would be really great if we could get a log signal out of the camera. As I said, working together with the engineers at Canon, we were able to get in there and figure out a way of putting something into the camera that allows it to output this log signal. Um, and it's called CineStyle, and some marketing people got together and got paid a lot of money and came up with that, you know, brilliant name. And this is something that you can download from the Technicolor website uh, and simply put it into the camera. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a picture style. Uh, you don't, you know, once it's in there, it's not stuck. You can turn it on, turn it off. It's, you know, one of, one of the user-defined styles. And it's free. Uh, one of the questions we're often asked is if it's free, then how to, you know, how does Technicolor make money? Well, we make up for it in quantity. Gotta love that joke. Uh, yeah, it was the laugh track. But um, as, as I said, the idea is that it produces a very, very flat signal, capturing as much dynamic range as possible that that chip can supply and outputting it um, in this log format. Now, I had uh, a shoot last week that we actually decided to try out the Cine style profile. <laughs> And uh, I, um, I would say that it was really great for grading exactly how you wanted it because it's so flat and you do have so much room on your, on your whites and your blacks to be able to move your image where you need to. I like that. But I think our viewers need to know that if they shoot in cine style, they need to be prepared for a heavy color correction later if they want to achieve the look that they are desiring. Uh, that is absolutely true. This is something that is made with the idea that you are going to do color correction downstream in mind. Uh, we provide a viewing LUT. It's a simple S-curve that will take the flat cine style picture and make it look sort of nice, but in no way are we insisting that that's it and that's the final thing. The idea is you'll have this log signal. You'll be grading it and looking at, at your graded color corrections through 
a viewing light or, or an S-curve. S-curves are really good, by the way, um, for a number of reasons. I can go into that for another 20 minutes, but you'll run out of uh, memory time on that on your card. Well, thanks. I, I, I just, it's really cool that manufacturers, especially like you, Technicolor, who do so much for the motion picture industry, branching out beyond what they normally do to accomplish what filmmakers are using as their tools now. Well, as I said, it really started out, the initial idea was purely defensive. People are shooting with this camera, and we have to get it to intercut with their motion pictures that the rest of it shot on film or other very high-end digital acquisition devices. And we figured this was a way of uh, allowing people to take advantage of all of the fabulous aspects of the, you know, shooting with a, a camera with a with the footprint of the Canon 5D, but put something out that is um, more amenable to uh, digital intermediate post-production pipelines. Thank you, Joshua, for your time. I really appreciate you talking to us. Excellent.